People of God, I say congratulations. 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 Amen. Today is a day of completion. If you've been following us today, what we are praying about is the joy of restoration. The joy of what? The second part of it, what did it say? A new beginning in Christ. It was yesterday that Pastor Lafia wished us happy new season, happy new year, right? Mm -hmm. So I wish you all the same. Because it's a new season, it's a new beginning. The joy of restoration. As I was praying and meditating, the only place the Spirit of the Lord took me at first, that was almost a week ago when I was praying about this last day, is that common scripture. Is there any common scripture? Amen. That popular scripture, let me use that. The book of Psalm 126, I would like to read from verse 1. Psalms 126. If you are there, say amen. amen. You are there, say amen. amen. I'm reading King James Version. You say, when the Lord, let someone say the Lord. the Lord. When the Lord turned, you see, the turning. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Can somebody laugh? We all know that's fake, right? And now the one you're laughing at is genuine. Uh -huh. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then say they, Ha ha. Then say they among the even, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Bringing his sheaves with him. When we are talking about restoration, let's look at the passage that we just read before we continue. Because today, I'm, doing, I'm trying my best not to teach or preach so we can pray. But we still need a little explanation. When we look at this scripture, he said, say the, when the Lord turned again the captivity, turning the captivity, amen? We will talk about captivity in a moment. But turning the captivity, what do we get out of this? Number one, restoration of fortune. Restoration of what? As you sit, I want you to pray. Though you are sitting down, but let your fire burn. Say, you are the restorer. You are the restorer. My, Lord, my, my Lord, my Father. Restore my fortune. Restore my fortune. I want you, though you are sitting, but I want you to pray. Let the seed that you sit, that you sit on, let it fill the fire. Say, my Lord, my Father. Lord. You are the restorer. Restore my fortune. Restore my fortune. Restore my fortune. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of just my Lord, my Father. You are the restorer. Restore my fortune. Exchange of the restore my fortune. I am that I am. Restore my fortune. Jehovah is your name. Restore my fortune. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. And we saw an example of that in the life of Job. His fortune was restored. The Bible said God gave him a double. Turning the captivity, what does it mean? It means freedom from bondage. Hallelujah. Freedom from bondage. What does it mean? It means breaking chains. Hallelujah. 
of captivity. What does he mean? I love this. See, it would be like a dream. If someone has been in captivity for so long, you get accustomed to it. You get used to it. You get, you see, the nature of man. When you're going through hardship for a while, you get accustomed to it. You get used to it. That pain, you don't feel it anymore. It's not that the pain is not there, but your system, your body got used to it. Praise God. But now, when deliverance finally comes, it's to you, it's going to be like, wait, 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 wait a minute. Is it a dream? Can, let, let me make you laugh here. Let me make, when I first came to this country, for 90 days, for three months, I kept asking, am I in America? For three months. Because it was like a dream. Because I knew where I was coming from. It was like a dream. When God turns your captivity, which he has done and is still doing, hallelujah, and we perfect today. When God turns your captivity, it's going to be like a dream. What does he mean when he says it's going to be like a dream? My pastor, it's going to be too good to be true. It's going to be what? Somebody didn't get it. It's going to be too good to be true. That even if anyone come to prophesy it, you will ask them, are you sure? Don't, 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 don't just raise my hope. Are you sure you know what you're talking about? Are you sure God is talking to you? Hallelujah. Tell somebody next to you. Say, yes, God is talking because the Bible is talking. Because the Bible is talking. That is God speaking. Hallelujah. It's going to be too good to be true. But I want to tell you today, people of God, though it is good, at the same time, it is true. It is true. God is turning your fortune. God is turning your captivity. God is giving you a new lease of life. Hallelujah. God is restoring everything the enemy has stolen. God is restoring everything they have taken from you. God is giving you a new hope. God is restoring your faith. Hallelujah. This is the season of laughter. Season of celebration. Hallelujah. The song says, I will dance like David dance. I've never seen David dance. But I will dance like Pastor Janice. <laughs> you know she where she danced? If you don't mind, can we see? <laughs> Everybody turn, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's celebrate Jesus. <laughs> it's season of rejoicing, people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let me read again. Let me read another translation. Guess what it says? The God's word says, hmm, when the Lord restored the fortune of Zion, it was as if we were dreaming. It's as if we were dreaming. As if we were as if we were Amen. verse 2 King James said then was our mouth filled with laughter tell somebody sitting next to you it is time to laugh, it is time to laugh. come and say, say tell somebody say it is time to laugh, it is time to laugh. say it again say it is, it is time to laugh say it again it is time to laugh let, let me quickly take us. Let me quickly take us to the story. Why this love is very important. It was Pastor Shola that was ministering here and quoted the scripture. Let me take you back there. Praise God. The book of Psalm one thirty seven. Come with me. Come with me. Psalm one thirty seven. It says, "By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yes, we wept." Let me read. Plain English, right? 
He said, by the rivers of Babylon, we sat down and cried as we remembered Zion. We hung our lair on, on willow trees. It was there that those who had captured us, don't forget captivity. Those who had captured us demanded that we sing. Those who guarded us wanted us to entertain them. They said, sing a song from Zion for us. How could we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand forget how to play the lyre. Let my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth if I don't remember you. If I don't consider Jerusalem my highest joy. But guess what? Now they are back in Jerusalem. It's time to laugh. It's time to laugh. This is the reason why they couldn't believe it. They couldn't. It's unbelievable. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Tell yourself. Smack yourself in the forehead. Say, hey, come on. It's time to laugh. It's time to laugh. Say, it is, it is time to laugh. Let me tell you something. Another scripture tells us. Psalm 30 verse 5. Say, weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. It doesn't matter what you've been going through. This is your season of restoration. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Lord will fill your mouth with laughter. The Lord will fill your mouth with laughter. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you go back to Psalm 126 verse 2. And read different translation, hallelujah. When you read the passion translation, guess what it says? It says, we laughed and laughed. We laughed and laughed and overflow with gladness. The Lord is giving somebody overflowing gladness. Yeah. Unbelievable miracles. Unbelievable miracles. Miracles that we announce itself. The Bible tells us that even the unbelievers, they gather and say, oh, God has blessed them. Blessings that cannot be hidden. That we announce itself. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody is pregnant and say, I know I won't let anybody know. Are you serious? He's going to announce itself. So will your miracle announce itself. The unbelievers, they said, ah, we can see. Ah, Father, I decree with the decree of heaven. A miracle that even the enemy say, ah, I can see that. Amen. Father, let it be released now. Amen. I am that I am. Let it be released now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But one thing though, we want to get into prayer for a few minutes now. To experience this fullness of joy that we are talking about, you must be able to conquer every opposition to your restoration. Amen. Every opposition to your restoration. This is where I want us to get lost in prayer. Let me share a revelation that the Lord revealed to me with us. I was in front of that house. And I saw everybody with a bag of money. And you can tell in that dream, it's like what you've lost, you got it back. All of a sudden, one little boy came and was pointing finger to somebody. He said, yeah, that's the person. And another guy came with a rifle. And when everybody saw the rifle, everybody fled. And drop the bag of money. <laughs> Life is better than money. <laughs> drop their money and run. And the guy packed the bags of money. And when it turned, where I was, I was looking. And I saw like a storage, like a storage unit, right? They opened it up. Then I saw that kind of bag that is filled the storage from the back to the ceiling, down. And people were going there, group of the guy, those evil group. The guy, because I can, you can tell that that's an evil person. Going there, trying to pack and go. When that revelation went, <clears throat> if you see, you will think that revelation is bad. 
No, really. Not really. Oh, what about everybody that dropped their back? No, 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 no. That happened so we can see the hidden riches. Somebody with me? Because we never knew that was there. So we can see that. Number one, because you've received your restoration, but opposition to restoration, you want to address them. Because you are not dropping what God has given you. I am not. What the Lord has restored to me, any form of resistance. The power of God destroyed them today. I said the power of God destroyed them today. Let's rise up and take a partner in prayer. Take someone to pray with. Praise God. If your partner will not pray with you, walk away. Walk away. You want to pray as if your life depends on it. Because your restoration depends on this. Hallelujah. 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 Someone with men in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't hear you. Hallelujah. If people in the house won't pray, those that are joining online, you better pray as if your life depends on it. Praise God. Praise God. Please, is two, form two, two. God bless you. Let's so, I want you to cry aloud. If you pray and the second, third prayer point and you are not sweating, you are not praying. Praise God. Let someone say, I take authority over every spiritual resistance against my restoration. I command every obstacle to be shattered right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I take authority. I take authority over every form of spiritual resistance against my restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I take authority. I command every obstacle to be shattered. I command every obstacle to be shattered. Every form of resistance, I command it to be shattered by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command it to be shattered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. People of God, please let us pray. One minute per prayer point. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I hereby decree every blockade. Every spiritual barrier standing in the way of my restoration be demolished by fire. Be demolished by fire. Be demolished by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I decree and declare that every blockade, every spiritual barrier standing in the way of my restoration, I command it to be destroyed. Be destroyed by fire. Oh, be demolished now. Be demolished now. Be demolished now. Be demolished now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Quickly, people of God, before we continue praying. When we, they, they were talking about captivity, what captivity are we talking about? We all know the story. When Nebuchadnezzar came to take them into captivity. But after the kingdom of Babylon, another kingdom came. And twice, they were released to go back to Jerusalem. The first time they were released to go and build the wall of the city. The second time they were released to go and build the temple. We will go back to the guy that released them to go and build the temple because we need to pray about that. But when they were released to go and build the wall, they were so happy. That group was led by Nehemiah. But the moment Nehemiah got to the ground, opposition was waiting for him. 
by the name of Sambalat. Geshem and Tobiah. They did everything to stop that restoration. They even wrote the king that now they shouldn't be allowed. Who is that force or what is that power that is now announcing it in the spiritual realm that you should not be allowed to be restored? That you should not be allowed to break through. You should not be allowed to fulfill purpose in life. I want us to pray. I release the thunder of God Amen. to smash to irreparable pieces every form of opposition standing in the way of my restoration. At this point, I thought people would be hungry. I thought you, you, you pray as if there's a fire in your bone. But we are praying in, in every opposition. Look at me, every, every opposition. It's as if I'm praying like a wimpy kid. You remember that book? <laughs> Please, people. <laughs> people of God, let's pray as if we want. Don't forget, today is the last day. Right? We have another 40 days, but not on this topic again. If it's, not on, if it's on this topic, this not under this anointing. That is an operation right now. So grab it, grab it, grab it. Let some say, I release the thunder of God. To smash into irreparable pieces. Every form of opposition. To my restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I release the thunder of God. I release the thunder of God to smash to pieces every form of opposition to my restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I release the thunder of God to smash to pieces every form of opposition to my restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. We have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let some say, I enter. Come on. Say, I enter. 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 Into the storage of the devil. Wherever my blessings have been kept, I claim it all. I retrieve it all. I claim it all. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus Christ. I enter into the storage of the enemy. Wherever my blessing being kept. Wherever my breakthrough being kept. Wherever my restoration has been kept. In the name of Jesus Christ. I claim it by fire. I claim it by fire. I claim it by fire. I retrieve it all. I claim it all. I retrieve it all. I claim it all. I retrieve it all. I claim it all. I retrieve it all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Let some say anybody anywhere that I want to collect what God has given me. Say, <laughs> this one. Now, problem or. <laughs> when you go to a lioness that just had a baby, the cub, you want to carry the doctor to take one of them, you better think twice. That's the way I am right now when it comes to the, my restoration. I've been praying for 14 days. Ah, you better be dead. <laughs> Praise God. Say, anybody, anywhere, anybody, anywhere, any power, anywhere, anybody, anywhere, that want to collect what God has given me, you will die trying. You will die trying. Die now by the fire of God in the name. Of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of just anybody anywhere, any power anywhere, trying to collect what God has given me. 
saying, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will die try. You will not succeed. I command it to fall. I command it to fall for my sake. I command it to fall for my sake. I command it to fall. You will never rise again in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let someone say, I take what belongs to me. Wherever it is stored, wherever it's being kept, I command it to come out by fire. Jesus told Lazarus, come out. We saw that power in the Old Testament too. The power of come out. It manifested in the Old Testament. Everybody was, would listen and say, okay, what, what is it going to say now? The prophet stood by the river. Say, said, where did he fall? And he threw a piece of wood and axe head floated. That's against the nature. That is against the law of physics. Praise God. That, how can axe head, iron, float and dry wood sank? A God can turn no matter the situation around. And he's turning it around today. I want us to cry out to God. Wherever my blessings being kept, wherever my breakthroughs being kept, I command it to come out now. I command it to come to me now. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my breakthrough, my solution, my promotion, in the name of just my restoration, wherever it's been kept, I command it to come out, come out now, come out now, come out and come to me now. I command you by the authority and power in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now, come to me now. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Please, let's be seated for a moment. When we are talking about bondage, how did it start? The book of Jeremiah 25, verses 11 and 12. The Bible says, this old land, this is Jeremiah prophesying, this old land will be ruined and become a wasteland. This nation will serve the king of Babylon for 70 years. When the 70 years are over, I will punish the king of Babylon. And that nation for their crimes, declares the Lord. I will turn Babylon into a permanent wasteland. That's how the bondage started. Now, let me fast forward to the promise of restoration. The promise of what? In Isaiah, we, we know one in Joel, Joel chapter 2, verse 25, that says, I will restore to you the years as locusts had eaten, right? The swarming locusts, the crawling locusts, the consuming locusts, and the twin locusts, my great army which are sent among you. But when we look at the book of Isaiah chapter 44, verse 28, the Lord was very specific. Isaiah 44, 28. I'm reading God's Word's translation. It says, it says about Cyrus, he is my shepherd. This is the Lord talking about Cyrus. He will do everything I want him to do. It says about Jerusalem, it will be rebuilt. It says about the temple, your foundation will be laid. Even before the destruction, the promise of restoration went out. You will be destroyed, but you will be restored. I don't know what we have, we've been through, but the Lord is telling you today, your restoration is complete. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your restoration is complete. Wasted years, wasted effort, wasted money, 
wasted sweat. In the name of Jesus, you are restored. Amen. I am restored. Amen. I thought you would say the same. Say, I am restored. Say, I am restored. Say it again, I am restored. Another thing here in the book of Ezekiel 37 verses 1 to 11. The promise of restoration. The Spirit of the Lord took the man of God. Come with me. The book of Ezekiel. I will say a few prayers here. Ezekiel 37 from verse 1. Hallelujah. 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 I'm reading God's translation. It said, the power of the Lord came over me. Let someone say, Lord, let your power come over me. The Lord brought me out by his spirit and put me down in the middle of a valley. The valley was filled with bones. He led me all around them. I saw that I saw there who have very many bones at the bottom of the valley, and they were very dry. Then he asked me, son of man, can this bone live? I answer, only you know, almighty Lord. Then he said to me, prophesy. Tell someone, say prophesy. prophesy. Say prophesy. Prophesy to this bone, tell them, dry bones, listen to the Lord's word. This is what the Almighty Lord says to these bones. I will cause breath to enter you, and you will live. I will put ligaments on you, place muscles on you, and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you, and you will live. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. While I was prophesying, suddenly there was a rattling noise. And the bones came together, one bone attaching itself to another. Every area of your life that has been broken, I decree divine attachments. Amen. I decree my reiko shinta hindam. I decree restructuring. Things begin to come together in the name of Jesus Christ. So I, as, as I looked, I saw the ligaments were on them, muscles were on them, and skin covered them, yet there was no breath in them. This is where I got to as I was praying and studying. And the Lord gave us the theme for the conference for the end of the year. And what will that theme be? Prophesy to the breath. Do what? Prophesy to the breath. Prophesy. To the breath. Prophesy. Because that's what he was told here. So then the Lord said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man. Tell the breath. This is what the almighty Lord says. Come from the four winds. Breath and breathe on these people who are killed so that they will live. So I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath entered them. Then they came to life and stood on their feet. There were enough of them to form a very large army. The Lord also said to me, son of man, all the people of Israel are like these bones. The people say our bones are dry and our hope has vanished. We are completely destroyed. So prophesy, tell them, this is what the almighty Lord says. My people, I will open your graves 
and take you out of them. I will bring you to Israel, the promise of restoration. The promise of restoration. Here, before we leave this juncture, I want us to I want you to prophesy to the breath to enter into that area of your life that is dying. Is it your finances, your joy, your job, your home, your business, your earth? Whatever it is that the enemy is messing with, or the area of your life that has become stagnant, or any gift or anything in you. That has laid dormant. Praise God. You want to command breath to enter into them. You want to do what? You don't hold to anybody right now. You're on your own. You need to cry out to God. I command breath. Shall we rise on our feet? Let some say, I prophesy to the breath. I command you. Enter into every area of my life. And let every dead area come alive. Every dead thing in my life come alive. Right now, I prophesy to the breath. Breath, enter into every area of my life. Breath, enter into every area of my life and bring life. Are you praying already? Bring life, bring life, bring life, bring life. Every area of my life that is dead, I command it to come alive. My dream that are dead, I command it to come alive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the breath of God. I command the breath of God. Remo Kashe. I command the breath of God. I command the breath of God. I command the breath of God to enter into my home, my family, my marriage, my destiny, my glory, my wife, my children, to enter into global vision ministries, to enter into my body. Oh, bring life, 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 bring life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. This breath that we are talking about is the same breath of old. Praise God. The Bible says, and, the Lord, and, and God breathed into Adam and he became a living soul. That breath, when Adam sinned, the breath left. But guess what? In the book of John chapter 20, 20, 20, 25 or so, the, we are talking about this in digging. The Bible says, and Jesus, he breathed on them and said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The same breath, the same breath, the same breath of hold. Hallelujah. And that same breath came back on them again as a tongue of fire on the day of Pentecost. The same breath, the breath of God. Because the breath of God is fire. Hallelujah. He breathed from heaven again over them and they received power. Hallelujah. Fear disappeared. Hallelujah. Timidity disappeared. Hallelujah. Every walk of the devil disappeared. They were so bold. Not afraid of anything or anyone. Hallelujah. Because they have the breath of God in them. The same breath he asked Ezekiel to breathe on that bones. Hallelujah. It was the same breath. The same breath that prophet Isaiah, I mean, prophet Elisha breathed on that boy. The same breath. Hallelujah. And the boy came alive. When Jesus told Lazarus, come forth, he was the same breath that entered into the grave. And Lazarus came forth. And the Lord is telling you to prophesy to the same breath today. Hallelujah. To prophesy to the same breath, he must come. Hallelujah. I want you to prophesy to the breath to enter into your business. Hallelujah. To enter into your finances. Hallelujah. To tap into your health. Hallelujah. I want you to prophesy to the breath. You breath of God. Breath of God, I command you, enter into my body. Enter into my body and let every form of infirmity disappear. Let every form of sickness disappear. Are you praying already? Let every form of sickness disappear. You breath of God, I command you, enter into my body. Enter into my business. Oh, let my business prosper. Let the life of God enter and let it expand. Let there be growth. Let there be increase.
progress. Bread of God, enter into my finances. Hallelujah. And let there be financial prosperity. Bread of God, enter into global vision ministries. Oh, let his ministries come alive. Let his ministries come alive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Breath of God, breath of God, I command you. I command you, come from every corner of the world and enter into my home in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please be seated for a moment. Don't forget what the Bible says. Psalm 126 said they laughed and laughed. You will laugh. Amen. And you always have reasons to laugh. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now we saw the bondage. We saw the promise of restoration. Now let's look at preparation for restoration. The preparation for restoration. The book of Isaiah chapter 45 verses 1 to 4. I'm reading God's word translation. He said, this is what the Lord says about Cyrus. Cyrus again. He's anointed one. I have heard him by his hand. So he could conquer the nations ahead of him. Strip kings of their powers. And open doors ahead of him. So that the gates would not be short. Ah, let some say, my Lord, my father. <laughs> say, my Lord, my father. Open doors ahead of me so that no gate will be shut against me. Say, no gate will be shut against me in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, I will go ahead of you, Cyrus, and smooth out the rough places. I will break down the bronze doors and cut through the iron bars. I will give you treasures from dark places and hidden stockpiles. You remember? That storage. I want you to pray. Every hidden stockpile. I tap into it. I claim it all. I claim it all. Riches in hidden places. He riches wealth in hidden places. In the storage of the enemy, I entered into their storage. I, I lay a claim to it. By the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I claim it all. I receive it all. They are mine. Somebody said, they are mine. They are mine. And I receive it all in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say, I will give you treasures from dark places and hidden stockpile. Then you will know that I, the Lord your God, the God of Israel, have called you by name for this, for what? For the sake of my servant Jacob. You hear that? Please be seated for now. Be seated. All, all this thing that the Lord is saying, calling Cyrus and everything, it's not because of Cyrus. Is because of Israel. Is because of Israel. He said, for the sake of my servant, Jacob, Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by name. I have given you a title of honor, though you don't know me. Can you imagine? When God is ready to restore you, he will raise a Cyrus. When God was ready to deliver children of Israel from Egypt, he raised Moses. When they are ready to cross the, Red, um, the Jordan and enter into the promised land, Joseph was empowered. I mean, Joshua was empowered. So, people of God, when God was ready to deliver the children of Israel, he raised Cyrus. He raised Cyrus. I didn't have time to do teaching today. I dug into it deeply as if I wanted to teach Bible class. And look at the reason why God chose Cyrus. Why? A long list. A day will come, God will give us a chance. Amen. And Bible student, you can ask that question in class. We address it. 
but he raised Cyrus. I want you to pray as you sit. Lord, is my, if you want to rise, rise. If you want to sit, sit. Just pray. If you want to lay down on the floor, do so. Just make sure you pray. Lord, I'm ready for my deliverance. Raise my Cyrus. Raise my Cyrus. Raise my Cyrus. Lord, raise my Cyrus. I am ready. I am ready for restoration. Lord, raise my Cyrus now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of just Lord, I am ready for restoration. I'm ready for deliverance. Raise my Cyrus, Lord. Raise my Cyrus, Jehovah. Raise my Cyrus now. Raise my Cyrus in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, raise my Cyrus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let me tell you why you need a Cyrus. Do you mind if I use you as an example? Do you? Mm? Okay, thank you. He was in that captivity. People of God cry out to God. And God raised Cyrus. And Cyrus made announcement. And that announcement set him free. The people of God being in bondage. The first assignment of Cyrus is that emancipation proclamation. Say, and he said, we will go to the scripture where the Lord says, so he confirmed and said, the Lord of heaven spoke to me. He told me. Don't forget that he doesn't know God. He said, he told me, is there anyone among you that's ready to go home? Uh, I want to ask you, is there anyone among you that's ready for restoration? Yes. If you want to go, you are free. Not only you are free to go, I will support you. This is Cyrus speaking. <laughs> Everything you need, you have it. You have it. Your Cyrus will be someone in power that has the authority to do what God wanted him to do. His own Cyrus was the president of the United States. Can you imagine? His Cyrus was the president of the United States. Not knowing that the bill that passed was because of him. Because people of God were praying and crying to God. Was it up to a week? The same week the bill was passed. And what was the prayer? Lord, touch the lawmakers of this land. Let them pass a bill that we favor this man. Not up to a week the bill was passed. I decree today that the lawmakers of this land will pass a bill that we favor you. I said they will pass a bill that will set you free. They will, Marie Koshima, they will pass a bill that will grant you your total freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Cyrus. When Cyrus spoke, who is going to challenge the emperor? He's the emperor, not just emperor of an empire, emperor of the world. <laughs> he was the world leader. And he said, this is it. Believe me, that was it. No one could challenge it. When he sent Moses... Moses was challenged. Right? Joshua was challenged. Who is going to challenge the king? When God is ready to make perfect what he's doing in your life, he will take the matter from the top. Say, my Lord, my Father, take my matter from the top. I didn't hear you. Say, Lord, take my matter from the top. Oh, take my matter from the top. Raise my helper that no one can challenge. <laughs> Raise me an helper that no one, no one can challenge. Yeah, no one can challenge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decree to the, the Lord will raise you a Cyrus. Then verse 13, listen to what the Bible says. It says, and now. Listen, say, and now I've got Cyrus on the move. 
I've rolled out the red carpet before him. He will build my city. He will bring home exiles. Now, this is the point that I want us to pray. We are rounding up now. Listen. See, I did not hire him for this. I told him. <laughs> That's the message translation. He said, I didn't hire him to do this. I told him so. I want you to pray. Lord, go and tell my helper. Go and tell my helper. Yes. When I get to this point, all night I couldn't sleep. I was just praying. I was just praying. You see, I didn't hire him to do this. If you hire, that means he has option. I say, no, no, I resign. Resign? I quit. Quit? <laughs> he said, I didn't hire him to do this. I told him to do it. I told him to do it. Let's cry to God. My Lord, my Father. My Lord, my Father. Go and tell my helpers. With a voice he cannot ignore. Talk to them with a voice they cannot ignore. Now, people of God, it's up to you. Now begin to tell God what you want that helper to come and do. Tell him to do this. Go and tell him to do that. Go and tell him to do this. Go and tell him to do that. Tell my helpers, as you told Cyrus, to set the children of Israel free. Go and tell my helper to help me. Go and tell my helper to help me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, go and talk to my helpers. Go and tell them with a voice that they cannot ignore. Go and talk to them with a voice they cannot ignore. Go and talk to them with a voice they cannot ignore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Talk to them, Lord, with a voice they cannot ignore. Talk to them. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name, we have prayed. When I got to that point, I got frozen up. The hell. No wonder the guy knew he had no choice. He had no choice. This is not optional. And there is no contribution. He has nothing to contribute to it. God told him what to do. And he comes, see the way he, he finishes, he said, I didn't hire him to do this. I told him, I, the God of angels army. Uh, yeah. Now told him, reveal himself, this is who I am. Get up. Go and do that. Yeah. Go and do that. So that's why there's no challenge. There's no, nothing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I decree today, any power, anywhere that want to challenge your restoration, I command the earth to swallow them. Amen. I said, I decree and I send them down six feet under. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says they laughed and laughed. Lord, give me a reason to laugh. Lord, this is my time. This is time to laugh. Give me joy of restoration. Give me joy of restoration. Give me joy of restoration. Are you praying already? Give me joy of restoration. Lord, give me reason to laugh. Give me reason to laugh. Joy of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Give me joy. Joy of restoration. Joy. Joy everlasting. Joy of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Grant me joy. Everlasting joy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say from this moment, oh Lord, everything you've done for this past 14 days. 
let there be manifestation. Let there be manifestation. Let testimony follow. Let there be manifestation. Let testimony follow. Let there be manifestation. Let testimony follow. What you have done in this half past 14 days, Father, let it begin to manifest. Let it begin to manifest. Lord, let it manifest. Let it manifest, oh God. Let there be restoration. All the restoration, everything you've done, let it manifest. Holy Spirit, let it manifest. To the glory of your name, are you praying already? Let it manifest. Let it manifest. I am that I am. Let it manifest. Jehovah Shammah. Let it manifest. 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 Let it manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Let someone say, I am not going back to what I used to be. <laughs> what I was 15 days ago. I'm not going back. So what the Lord has done in my life is permanent. There shall be no reversal. Come on, somebody praise. There shall be no reversal. What I've done, O oh Lord, shall be permanent. I'm not going back to that old me. Say it again. Say, I'm not going back to that old me. What I've done in my life shall be permanent. Concerning my life, Concerning my home, concerning my family, my spouse, my children, my marriage, my destiny, my business, my finances, my career, concerning Global Vision Ministries, what you have done, O Lord, shall be permanent. There shall be no reversal. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. There shall be no reversal. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Before I finish that last word in my mouth, I could sense it in my spirit. Somebody's here today in the sanctuary, in the sanctuary, that your earth has been restored. Your earth has been restored. Amen. Your earth, your earth has been restored. Very soon you start feeling, oh, it will happen again, it will come. What always happened, we always feel we come, we come. What you're expecting will not come. Amen. Because it is gone and it's gone forever. Amen. You are restored. You are restored. Amen. You are restored. Amen. Your earth is restored. Amen. Your earth is restored. Amen. Your bone is renewed. Amen. <laughs> your earth is restored. Amen. I say your earth is restored. Amen. Your strength is renewed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Before, we, before I ask Pastor Eric to pray for us. Please, can you grab me the anointing oil? Thank you. Hold on. Just hold it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please, I would like to anoint everyone if you want to. Before we finish, I think it's three or four prayer points before the last one. It's real, the Lord. Just drop in my spirit that we should do the anointing oil before I drop the microphone. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, if you don't mind, shall we do that right quick? Shall we do it right quick? Shall we start from the back? Shall we start from the back? Please, just, yes, please come. God bless you. You are restored. Amen. In Jesus' name. You are restored. In the, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. No, hold it. You are restored.